Hey guys, I'm at the range. Got the place myself, so I said to do some gel testing. I got my 308 here, got the magneto speed on it, and I'm going to shoot the cavity back 168 grain MKZ. Um, I've used these bullets a ton in the 6.8, and they've always worked awesome. So I'm going to give out the uh, 308 version a try, and we'll see how they do. I got the gel down range. The uh, target's down there at 100. The gel's just in front of them at that berm, so they should be at about 90 yards. Let's see what happens. Looked like a solid hit on the gel. I was aiming a little bit to the left so I could get another shot in there if I wanted to. Now I did forget to take these out at home and hit them with the uh, like a blow dryer to clear them up. So they're a little wrinkled, but I think you can get the idea of you know these bullets. They opened up. Maybe it took an inch to open up. Something kind of blew out of the side here. I guess that's the temporary stretch cavity. You can see the black, which meant that it opened up so much that when it compressed, it ended up uh, igniting the air. Kind of like a diesel engine. So we went through the first 16-inch block, and then almost halfway through the second one, here's the bullet. So you're looking at, you know, 23 inches of penetration, something like that. It's a little hard to get a perfectly clear picture of the bullet. You know, with the... Uh, wrinkles in this gel and it does appear did we lose a pedal there's I guess the bottom of this block is perfect I should have had it this way there's the bullet we did lose a pedal somewhere actually if you look down in here you can see a little tract coming this way so that might have actually yeah, Looking at the cardboard I put it on, it exited out this way and it looks like it bounced off the cardboard and flew over there. Alright, so I got the bullet out of the gel. I actually shot the gel about a month ago. I was so busy, I just left the bullet sitting in there. See, a good thing about clear gel is you can just leave the uh, bullet sitting there because it doesn't go bad. bullet actually did turn black. I'm assuming that that's uh, some sort of reaction between the burnt gunpowder and the gel because the front of the bullet is obviously still nice. So we did lose one pedal, but even after losing a pedal, you know, the bullet, we still got 0.93, almost an inch wide. And since these things are going to be spinning through an animal, it really doesn't make much of a difference. Now the bullet's 150 grains, so that pedal we lost is 18 grains. And I mean, it fell off so far into the gel that honestly it probably wouldn't make much of a difference shooting a deer anyway. Um, so just to show you, this is one I shot out of my 6.8 SPC, so you know, that's what it should look like. You know, nice three pedals, nice peel back. This was, you know, 100 yard shot with the 6.8. Just to show you how well they do at low velocities, this is one I shot out of the 6.8 also at 300 yards. Um, now 300 yards, the bullet's down to 850 feet per second. So most all coppers will not expand that well down, you know, at that, that speed. So even at 300 yards, you're looking at still 0.6 of an inch, 0.63. I mean, that's just awesome. That's why I like these bullets. Anyway, so back to the 308. So 150 grains retained weight. And total penetration ended up coming in at 22 inches. And the uh, permanent wound cavity pretty much started getting going at about the 2 inch mark out to the 14 inch mark. So you had 12 inches of a big cavity. And for clear gel, that cavity was very big. Um, so overall, pretty impressed with these. Deer season starts in a couple days. So hopefully I can uh, get something with these. We'll see how they perform on live game.